How do you cover a war on social media? In a special episode, I'll be looking at the Russian invasion of Ukraine through the eyes of BBC World Service followers, subscribers and listeners. Why did a speech by Vladimir Putin go viral? And who are the Ukrainian teenagers going into battle with only three days training? Join me, Anna Doble, for Pick of the World after the news headlines. BBC News with Moira Alderson. Ukraine has urged the Red Cross to scrap its plan to open an office in southern Russia because it could be viewed as legitimising what it called Moscow's policy of forced deportations. Irina Vereshchuk, Ukraine's top humanitarian official, said the Red Cross was being used. She said 40,000 civilians had been trafficked into Russia. Ukraine's military intelligence chief has warned Moscow that any attempt to split his country in two will fail. Kirilo Budadov said Russia could try to break off some southern and eastern areas, but he said any breakaway state would be unviable given the local resistance. Residents of one of China's largest cities, Shanghai, are to be restricted to their homes over the next nine days in an effort to curb an outbreak of COVID-19. The eastern half of the city will be locked down first for five days, starting on Monday, followed by the western side. In Afghanistan, BBC television news programmes in Pashto, Persian and Uzbek have been taken off-air after the Taliban ordered the corporation's partners to remove international broadcasters from their airways. Six million Afghans consume BBC television news every week. Independent observers say a series of by-elections held in Zimbabwe on Saturday were marred by intimidation and vote-buying. The Zimbabwe Election Support Network said some candidates promised food in exchange for votes. A newly formed opposition party, the Citizens Coalition for Change, is on course to win most of the seats contested. Activists are demanding the return to Gabon of a rare 19th century wooden mask sold in France for nearly $5 million. The mask, used in ceremonies by the Fang people, was expected to sell for less than a tenth of that amount. Gabonese protesters disrupted the sale, describing the mask as an ill-gotten colonial gain. BBC News.